Hello everybody. Uh, today's video is going to be a little different than usual. Um, if you check the description of the last video, I kind of left a message and it might sound a little alarming, but let me explain because this is a serious subject. But before we get into the video, I want to go over or I want to give a trigger warning to anybody that does not want to hear anything about suicide and self-harm. So if you don't like that, uh, I suggest just not being around for this video because I got it's got some really unfortunate news about a friend of mine. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna get started. Yesterday, I was just doing my job. I do a bunch of IT work at the place I work at. And yesterday, I was just going about my day normally. And I took a small break from a computer I was working on. And so usually, I just scroll through Facebook, check on what my friends are doing, what my family's doing, just see what's going on. And it's, I wish I hadn't learned about it this way, but what can you do? When I opened up Facebook, the first post that popped up was about the passing of a good friend of mine from the gym I train at. His name is Terrence. Now, because this news came out of nowhere, I didn't know how to process it. So at first, I didn't know what to think. My first reaction was I gasped super loud and put my hands on my head like this in disbelief. I did not think that it was real. I looked all over Facebook and I was able to confirm it really quick on all the different posts. And a good friend of mine committed suicide. Yeah, it's rough. And yesterday, it was so bad, I had to leave work, work early. I went home and I broke. Luckily, I had the comfort of my girlfriend around to help make the grieving better and help me process what has happened. But anyway, let me explain just kind of who Terrence is to me. So I would have met him around a year ago and I've only known him for a year. But as you can tell by my reaction, he left an important impression on me. The, the gym I train at is called Grace Place and it trained and, I, and that's where I got my first two fights as a kickboxer. Uh, it's got many amazing MMA fighters. Uh, it's head coach is just great. It's an amazing gym. And so one day Terrence would have come to this gym to gain, to get more fit, and he became a personal trainer. So for a month, I trained under Terrence, got to know him more, and he's just a great guy. He's especially really funny. He tell, he, he would tell so many funny random stories. He served time in the military and he had some goofy things with that. The point is Terrence, was really important at Grace Place as he trained people, he he was there. And he was there for me and another friend. And it sucks what's happened. Now, we also had known that he struggled with mental health. Now, I didn't know that it was to this extent, but this is a very important lesson for me and many others that it doesn't matter to how serious it is so long as there's a mental health problem within somebody, it's very possible that they can slowly grow deeper and deeper into that problem before they begin to harm themselves. While I usually wouldn't make a video like this, because this is very personal, this can be taken the wrong way and people might think I'm trying to get views off of this, which is absolutely what I'm trying to not do. I want to make it abundantly clear. Right now, I am trying to make this video to promote suicide prevention. Now, this is a tough situation. I've never dealt with something like this before. I've never known somebody that would actually go through with it. And it changes, it's changed my perspective on things so much. I'm still trying to process what's happened and it's gonna be a while before I finally come to terms with what's happened. So in an effort to promote suicide prevention, in an effort to help people and bring more joy. What I want to do is I want to get with the family and maybe we can set up something 
a donation, a GoFundMe, something, a good trusted platform where we as a community, because thanks to you guys, I have a platform where I can help people in need like this. We can donate and we can help the expensive that, the expensive that comes with these kind of tragedies and we can just make it a little easier for the grieving process. Now, if they don't want my help, because I'm still in the works, I'm gonna see if I can get their help and see if we can do this. Keep an eye on my community posts so you can get more information on this. Um, if we can't help them, then regardless, I wanna do a suicide prevention uh, charity where we can donate on the live stream. Regardless, I wanna do a live stream for Terrence to honor and commemorate, and we can have a day of fun in good times. But right now, I've still got some mourning and grieving and thinking to do, and so does a lot of people who are affected by this. I wanna thank you guys so much for giving me the platform to do this. Well, yes, I have put in the work with my president videos, my magic videos, and all of that. I know that you could say I'm responsible for this channel's growth. It's you guys. You guys subscribe. You guys watch the videos, and you guys like the videos. You guys actually make it possible for me because without that reward there wouldn't be a reason and because of you guys i might be able to help a family now i don't know when this stream is going to be it'll be as soon as i can get it i got a really busy busy weekend ahead of me but besides that i want to get a live stream in we can get some donations in we can make someone's life just a little bit easier after such a tragedy but anyway I want to thank you guys for everything. And I want to tell you, every one of you that's watching this video, that's made it this far, that you are loved, that you are important to somebody, and you are important to this world. Never, never give up. Whatever your dream, whatever your ambition is, whatever, your, whatever keeps you going, don't give up on it. I think those words would have helped my friend. And sadly, I didn't get the privilege, the chance. I didn't get I didn't get the chance to tell him those words. So at the least, I want to tell everybody that's watching this video that might be struggling with the same thing and that might not be and just they just need to hear it. You are loved and you are a part of something. If it, if there's seriously nothing else and you are at least a part of this channel and its growth and its and as I try to keep on pushing it, pushing it, you guys are a part of it. So if, it's, if there's nothing else in your life, please at least just accept that. There's somebody that loves you out there. There's somebody that cares about you out there. Now I know people joke about it and say this and that, but in all seriousness, you are loved. Do not ever do something like this. Now, as I say, and I wanna recount, there will be a stream very soon. Don't have a date yet, but it will be very soon. As soon as I get the permission, and as soon as I get a time slot, I will be live streaming. We will be playing Magic Arena. I'm going to be grinding on it and getting some cool decks to play so that it's not like I'm the mess it was the first time. Because while that was fun, I was awful at the game. And I'm hoping that in this case, I can get some cool decks that we can play and have a grand time. Regardless, we'll be raising money for suicide prevention. I think that is the most important part. So once again, thank you guys for watching. You are loved, and please stick around. Now, I'll be getting, I'll be, in, I'll be in touch with the family, and I'll update you guys as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.